Greetings, people of YouTube, and welcome to Unclaimed World. Welcome back, in fact, because uh, I already done one video on this game when it first uh, came to early access, which was in March 2014, and now we are in January 2015, and I'm still trying to reduce the sound. There we go. Um, and uh, I, I wanted to find out if there's been any change, because uh, this is one of those games that I was looking, for, I was personally looking forward to. Um, uh, playing more of, uh, and uh, the hence I checked it out. So, uh, this is, uh, just to remind you what's going on here, uh, this is a planetary exploration, sort of colonization uh, game where you don't have direct control over your um, pioneers, let's call them that, or your units, uh, and you just, instead, you designate areas that they want to be things to be done in, and then they, you know, someone will go into it kind of situation. Um, the first thing I noticed as when I went back on the Steam page uh, was that uh, the the score, the Steam review score for this game was, was pretty low. It's, I think it's about 66% approval, which is, as far as Steam reviews go, uh, is is quite low. Um, and um, I was I was immediately struck by that. I was like, well, why is this happening? Uh, so I I played it, and what can I say? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is uh, that there is now an actual proper tutorial. We might as well go and select that and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of it. Um, and then I'll play one of the other scenarios and uh, try to uh, uh, talk about the game itself and what has been changed uh, since besides the tutorial. So let's select the tutorial. Uh, in this scenario, it's about 200 years, I think, or something, two centuries after the initial uh, uh, landing of the pioneers and they've lost most of the technology. They kind of reverted back to um, simpler times and you are playing as uh, these th three guys who are straying on an island and as they're trying to figure out how to get off the island you learn about the game and hopefully it will load I think it did nothing is is crashing it did crash at one point in loading and also on saving so I'm not gonna attempt any oh they're saving in the game there you go that's one of the new things all right yeah it did work out um, there, you can save and load your games, though there's only still three scenarios. Uh, the tutorial is done like step by step. It's it's pretty decent compared to what was before, where I I was quite confused as to what exactly I was supposed to do, even though I I, I tried pretty hard to understand. I did I did get the idea, but I failed pretty hard on on you know, a couple of attempts on that one single scenario that was available in March, um, and I'm probably gonna play that one again today. So this is how it works. They say stuff, and then it gives you a, a relevant guide um, window. It tells you what to do in that in there, and then you do it. Uh, they did a little bit of Im some improvements uh, of the UI, uh, and it is much more usable now and much more user friendly. Let's actually pause the game. Let's not kill these guys. Big pause button appears. Uh, they've been doing uh, updates every week. I think roughly, um, maybe every two weeks, something like that. Since no, it, it's roughly every week, but they're very small, sort of incremental stuff. That's actually that's not pause because the music goes away. Um, incremental updates, but they're they're pretty cool. Like for example, this build is uh, okay. All right, that's that's cool. The building thing is separated over here, um, and uh, what you do is kind of bigger and more understandable things you can do with the stuff that you have. Uh, so there's like stuff moving around. For example, this was unreadable in the version I played and now I understand what it says because they changed the font. Uh, the pause button is kind of visible. It's there. Um, the security, food and comfort ratings are there, which is cool. Uh, there's also some stats about the colony uh, that you can have. Unfortunately, there's not much of a colony that you can have. Uh, but that's there and those are the incremental updates or like little changes that are very good they're good changes uh don't get me wrong there i'm happy that they're there and uh, uh it's very nice that they've been changing those uh now let's back out of this and see if the game crashes uh oh, it didn't and go into the same scenario we did um the first time uh the, this one the other one isn't actually even finished uh oops this one so i tried it and it kind of like you, you go for a while and then nothing happens or unless i'm some, somehow missing uh things uh here i think um i think we just need to establish basically a little camp i think that's the idea i'm gonna play on normal difficulty actually that's a new thing as well they have difficulty levels uh and let's let's give this a go let's let's start playing this 
So it's been about 10 months um, since the game came out and uh, like the big things immediately notice is that oh two more scenarios one of them is a tutorial and uh, that you can save and load the game you'll probably notice some of the UI stuff uh, but other than that everything else I think they've done is pretty much under the hood um, and this is not necessarily a bad thing but this to a certain degree probably explains why uh, the review score the user feedback on this is isn't very good and it's very disappointing I, I it's very disappointing that like people don't like it but I also kind of understand them I understand why this isn't probably very fun it's not replayable and that's the problem with also with generally with uh, games that are neither a multiplayer nor sort of procedurally generated because they're kind of all more or less the same and you can't really replay them again and again um, in early access so there's games that early access works really well for like for example Chaos Reborn uh, because it's it's multiplayer it's 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 fully working in the state it is in the UI is, is great it, it's it's fine it does it does the job very well uh, well here um, yep after 10 months the UI has been improved apparently animals behave differently and 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 better the things are better things are looking up uh, but uh, there isn't much content added, and I again I understand probably why this is happening because you know the game isn't successful enough. Uh, like it has only 49 reviews, and I think the peak time peak user was like uh, 96 people playing at the same time, which isn't much. Um, again, as far as Steam games go, um, Chaos for comparison, for example, which only landed on uh, early access, I think when was it in December? Yeah, it's like 9th of December or 12th of December, uh, has uh, like 270 or something like that of, of peak users. Um, and, you know, let's not go into like Counter-Strike territory or something like that. It can be into thousands and, and tens and hundreds of thousands. Uh, but because of that, but probably because not a lot of money has come in. Uh, now, we don't want to move the camp. I want to actually interact with this aircraft hull and... Oop, come on, hull. Salvage. So, see? <laughs> It's improved, but it, it it is a bit hard to use. Um, okay, hull, salvage, there we go. All right, you lazy bums, come on, let's go. Can you build anything? Can't build anything, really. Motion sensor, okay, cool. Um, I was saying, yes, because I, I assume, uh, just judging by how much progress has been done, that the people who are working on this are working on this in their free time. At least it doesn't seem like, I would be very surprised to find out that they're actually doing this full time or there's at least one person doing this full time. It doesn't seem like that kind of game. It seems like they have at least another part time job and they're then doing this kind of, this is their project of love and, and passion. Um, and it's, again, it's very disappointing that like someone new who comes into the Steam page, they will, they will notice uh, that it's at like 66 and they're probably not gonna buy it even if it's like on discount or something like that because it has the mixed rating people don't really buy games that are mixed rating unless they have amazing um, they have a, a amazing uh, discount like 80% or something like that and it's it's a, it's a, it's a huge shame it's I'm, I'm very saddened by this this situation because again this is I still think that this game is amazing. I th still think that uh, if it's ever finished, if it's ever finished, it's going to be really cool. But at the same time, I'm also together probably with everyone else who played this concerned that maybe it will never be finished um, just because of how much progress has been done so far. And from what I've seen, I mean, there's no plans of, you know, ramping up the speed at which stuff is being developed. It's, uh, it's, sort, of, it's sort of going, it's sort of rolling along. Uh, and I don't know, maybe, you know, as a, just a random guy, I shouldn't be concerned about anyone else's um, score on, on, uh, on Steam reviews, but uh, I am to a certain degree because I, I really love this to be finished and to be awesome because, uh, like I've said in the previous review, it looks great. It's, it's one of the most beautiful things I've seen. And I really like, again, the fact that you can't zoom in closer. It's This is the only, like, that sort of... Uh, limitation of how much closer you can get to the stuff that's happening and how much like the limited involvement you can have in here it's it's beautiful uh can we build anything is the question not really okay let's let's gather some stuff up around here then okay i think we can build a, a campfire oh this is annoying see if i go here it disappears even though i clicked on it, it you'd think that if you click on it it stays on but you have to do like that motion from from here to here for it to actually work uh, 
let's try it. Let's get uh, a campfire going somewhere near our rack. Uh, like there, maybe. And we probably need to examine more land to find more stuff. So let's uh, let's examine that. And when they're done bringing stuff in, I uh, also the, again the improvements here. I don't remember if this was um, actually there, but I think it was. Uh, uh, well, I think it wasn't. Sorry, um, but this is more intuitive now. It's the stuff you have. So prepared food you can prepare. You don't have it, but you can have roasted muck grinder and you can prepare it because we are soon gonna have, or maybe already have a campfire. Uh, then is all the tools and the stuff that you gathered from all the components you got from this. And you can have liquid guns that you can make from the stuff that you gathered from your crash site. Uh, or you can create metal arrowheads, etc. And this is very intuitive. This is very nice. Uh, again, I maybe I am forgetting something. But I think this wasn't either it wasn't there or it wasn't like this. Uh, and it's really cool. Oh, we have a fire extinguisher. We can have a boosted fire extinguisher. I didn't know that existed. And there's ammunition as well, which I think we cannot create. So in this scenario, we can't really... We don't really have the rifles. We have to, like, make our own... Um, make our own weapons. And hopefully someone's actually going to go in there and cook this stuff. Or otherwise, we're going to run out of food. And we do have a... Uh, do you have a pot now? So that's very nice. But that doesn't actually add to what we can... Um, what we can cook. Let's see what we can gather in this in the area that this guy is already exploring. So let's see, gather. Uh, what, what is there? Oh, there's there's food, isn't it? There's food. Let's let's get that. It's food. There's no mock grinders, but it's all tubers. All tubers apparently are very tasty. Um, and get some leaves, get some sticks. They're always useful. I we need to build some shelter before nighttime, most likely. Uh, let's do that. Let's get one more stone. Something like that. So they should have enough tasks now to move around. Look how pretty that is. Little tiny objects there. They look they look very, very nice. And I think we can actually fish here. Uh, are menus something you can fish? I, I don't know. Some of the stuff is still a, a little bit confusing. But I really enjoy, I really enjoy the art and just a general idea of how you control your environment is, is beautiful. Oh, there we go. Now we can build more things. We can have smoke oven. We can have a um, some kind of shelter. But not necessarily... Oh, we can't build it yet because we're missing stuff. We are missing what? Uh, Wingwood leaves. Okay. So when we have them... Oh, there we go. See, one of them we can already build. Uh, so we could technically... Let's get rid of this... I'll let them finish what they're doing and then see if we can uh, utilize. Is anyone cooking, by the way? This is the tasks menu. No one is cooking currently. Uh, people are harvesting. No one is assigned to it, but I think I'm not sure you can assign directly people to them to the tasks. Um, I'm going to make the cooking urgent. See if that helps anyone. There you go. I think someone started moving over there. Maybe he's just gathering stuff to uh, to bring it to the thing. It's still a little bit mystical how, how some of the things work, but again, uh, there's a lot of improvement from uh, UI-wise from what I've seen in uh, in, the, in the in the first version I played, in the first uh, early access version I played. All right, we we got stuff that that's that's cool. Can we cook it though? Oh look, we can cook more others other things. Like so much things we can cook. Uh, baked oil tubers, roasted crazy dweller. We got a crazy dweller. I was hunting that thing in a different scenario for days. I can never, could never get it. You can also read a little bit, I think, about this stuff. I oh, know this is just that it's delicious. Uh, crazy dweller lives in crevices between rocks and large trees. That's that's what you know about it. Uh, yeah, arrow shafts, other crude spear, fishing hooks. Excellent. So it's, it's very exciting, this, this crafting bit of it. I think it's it's very cool. Are they still gathering stuff? They are, aren't they? All right, I'm, I'm going to let them eat, probably. Uh, and we need some storage for food as well. It was funny, actually. I, in, in a different scenario, I made food storage, like cold storage for food or something like that. And um, there it was prohibited to store your... Uh, your waste in it, but they put it started. I think essentially they started crapping 
in the food storage, which was kind of funny, I, I, I found. But pro also probably very dangerous, because that could lead to all kinds of problems. Let's let's build them some kind of a shelter, I, I think, because they deserve it. I mean, it would be... It's just for one person, but at least, like, you know, they'll have that. What are we... Is there anything else we need to build in here? No, I'm not... Cooking is oh this other other cooking okay cool right so they're they're cl slowly dealing with the stuff they need to be dealing with that's but that's pretty cool uh, we could also build a dome shelter which I think is for two people uh, this interface could be better uh, let's let's have a dome shelter as well oh god there's not there's nowhere to build it man what you guys not want this dome shelter around? oh there you go. Oh, I can build it here. All right, fine. Very good. What's up with the campfire? All right, oh, that's good. And you can remove most of the UI. I think that also wasn't possible before. So you can see what what they're doing, what's going on, and then you can remove it uh, and uh, get a get a clearer picture of of, of the situation. And of the world that you are exploring and trying to colonize. Uh, what I would probably want in this game, another thing, is just to be able to speed up time. I mean, it's kind of a cool limitation, but at the same time, it can be annoying if you like if you already figured stuff out and you know like what you're doing. You just need it to pass and get to that point. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it will. It would wouldn't be that great because then like the uh, sudden attacks from the animals would be. A bit weird if the time is 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 going very fast, something like that. I don't know. It could be. It could be. I I could see that it could be a problem, but at the same time, I do see the benefits of it as well. The rest of the stuff is is pretty much just what you've seen in in a previous video. If, if you if you watched it, if not, then there should be a link in the description to the other one. Um, except for again, the UI changes, the two new scenarios. You can load. You can save. Well, you can attempt to load and save. I crashed when I saved. Um, and that's that's kind of it. And it's been ten months, and that's why I I, I don't know. I am a little bit concerned that this is is going, but it's going very slow. And I hope there isn't a point. I mean, as long as it keeps going slow, I don't like. If if I can play this full game in three years, I'm still happy. I still like that would be that would be great. But I hope it doesn't come to a point where they go like, you know what? I've been working on this project for four years. Or maybe five, because they've been working on it before it came to Steam, right? Maybe it's say five years, and ooh, what's this? Um, okay, they will sleep. In... All right, that's that's cool. We don't actually, we, you guys didn't build the thing. You should have built the thing. Uh, all right, no one's. I don't know. I don't know if you should like sleep outside without any protection, but I, I, you know, you're the colonist. You probably know know best. Um, so yeah, I hope it don't doesn't come to the point where the developers go like, you know what, this is this is not worth it, and I hope they finish it. Um, but it's yeah, it's a big shame about big shame about the score. Again, I'm not trying to say people gave it the wrong score. I, I mean, you know, it, it deserves whatever score it gets. I think that's that's how it works. And uh, but it's a shame because it's probably gonna draw other uh, potential players away from. Um, away from uh, the game and um, convince them not to buy it because of the you know the 66 percent positive rating which is which is pretty bad but that's the situation and this is my job to tell you about the situation I hope it gets better I hope it improves um, I am again full disclosure I'm rooting for this game I, I, I would love to see it finished and and glorious um, but it's if it does get there it will get there um, not not very soon probably i don't know why actually all of these guys are moving stuff over there I, that that's actually could be a could be a bug i didn't tell them to do anything what is that what are they doing there what is what is going what is going on guys stones 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 hydraulics components they are stockpiling stuff in different place now oh so they can clear the land to build the, the, the tarp i i assume that's what they're doing aren't they i think are they gonna build it? Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. So that's why they they, they moved the stuff so they could build here. So now someone could could sleep in it. I wonder. Let's see if anyone goes in there. No, she's 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 cooking. Yeah, they still have the cooking task. 
Well, we're running out of food, so it's good that they're cooking. Did anyone get in there? Hmm. Everything is allowed besides materials and components in this tent. Well, on that happy note, I bid you farewell. Uh, and uh, there will be probably in a couple of months another update or more updates on this game and on the other games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please consider supporting it in any way you can. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.